A field coordinator in Syria is a very challenging position. Number one, I was uh, responsible for managing all our staff's uh, safety and, and well-being on the field and then in the offices as well. Uh, in addition to that, meant coordinating all the field movements and making sure they have all what they need in terms of equipment cars to be safe while uh, they are doing their job on the field. I think generally speaking, the situation has worsened. So there are many needs and not just a few main needs, if I could say so. I mean, the uh, economy is, is, is worsening. Accordingly, the infrastructure, provision of fuel, energy in general, food, the hospitals, medical services, everything has been deteriorating. Uh, so the needs are, are, are vast, immense. Uh, we are trying our best to, to, uh, to deliver uh, what we can. But unfortunately, it's not enough. A particular thing is also the amount of destruction you see when you go from one place to another, one city to another, or on any road. It's unbelievable. And uh, definitely that means that lots of people have lost their homes, moved around, but then also many others are quite resilient. And this is one of the things that impressed me about the Syrian population in general, the resilience with which they faced uh, their problems and uh, the, the, the very dire situation. One thing I've noticed is that that wasn't there maybe when I first arrived to Syria is the, the level of desperation that people have arrived to. So it's, it's sad to see. However, many are still trying to, to, to maintain their life and, and, and still want to be part of this country and they don't want to leave. But unfortunately, the desperation is growing and, and, uh, and nobody is foreseeing a solution soon. Managing to survive is different from one area to another, but people have come up with many different coping mechanisms. Of course, the vast majority, they live on assistance, which can sometimes be delivered on a regular basis and sometimes not, but they still manage to maintain, let's say, a minimum basic standard of, of, of living, which is still better for many than leaving their country or leaving this, their homes, despite the destruction uh, they have witnessed. The Syrian Arab Red Crescent is, is our main partner in Syria and, and most of our activities are done jointly with the Syrian Arab Red Crescent and I have to say we rely on them a lot to understand even better what's going on and, and, and improve our response. And in that frame I would like to remind everybody that we should all, all parties to a conflict should respect the role of, of the Syrian Arab Red Crescent and try as much as they can to protect the volunteers of the Syrian Arab Red Crescent in their humanitarian mission and facilitate their work for them.